guys, I'm shocked by the number of people that think Morgan May Guptill and Jeremy McKenzie are some kind of heroes. Can somebody name me one thing good that they did for anybody as in regards to the freedom movement? Number one, the whole freedom movement was shut down because of their antics. Number two, I made international news around the world when I was in the Ottawa Rapid. My story was scrubbed clean in two hours. Nobody hears about me. If you go to my YouTube channel, hashtag free kitty stevens you will see that they came and shut me off down they removed most of my videos from ottawa and because i was brave enough to go up there with the slogan arrest human traffickers and not truckers and i exposed the connection of Jeffrey Epstein to the Trudeau government and to the Nova Scotia mass murderer and to MS-13 and the RCMP, one of the biggest pedophile rings in the world. No rally will ever be successful until you face the underlying facts and as long as children are being killed, which here in Nova Scotia, not the one went missing yesterday. They're being rounded up. We're being killed everywhere. My daughter was a victim of that, but not only is she a victim of that and me, but I was also damaged by the facts that I was forced to take. I was told Morgan May Guptill and Jerry May McKenzie were freedom fighters. So I gave them my information and I found it. Another woman contacted me when she saw my story and she said that they did the same thing to her, okay? So then we had a massive smear campaign. From the effects of the jab, you guys, I've lost my abilities to communicate. I have ticks in my face. Everything about me has changed. I aged like five years because of all the violence. I've been beaten, I've been incarcerated. What Morgan May Guptel went online with all the Daglon members, because they are gang stalkers and they are dangerous. They are paid by police and they are agents. What's going on with Jeremy is all fake. That's all set up and those two are gonna make big money and they've already made big money to do that. Now, I have significant proof that they are pretty evil people. But I already know the truth is gonna come out. I live down the road from them. They completely destroyed the Freedom Rally in the East. They were paid two times to go to Dr. Strang's house. Notice they didn't have any followers with them. It was just them too. Now, why would you go to a doctor's house knowing that you're going to destroy the freedom movement? But not only that, here we had all kinds of court cases going on to do with the freedom movement, to do with the vaccines, to do with the mass murder, to do with people. So wait, when you go forward and tell that you've been damaged from the facts, they take your kids, they, they incarcerate you, they declare you mental, that they destroy all your life. But if you follow my story, they came for me hard. They sent a member of the 
Alter M L K after me, a super soldier for Satan, you guys. He was somebody who was very high up in the satanic church, which I believe Morgan May Guptel belongs to. She took money and threw freedom fighters under the bus to get a reduced sentence for herself and to set all this up. Just because all her hit their militia and all kinds of police and government agents, they got the backing of the biggest gang stalking organization in the world. They are fake. Stop giving these people their money just because they got the gift of gap. They got the gift of the gap from Satan, from snorting so much cocaine. And people tell me it's not so much Jeremy, it's more the girl he's with, Morgan May Guptel, that appeared on the scene just a year ago and bullied a lot of people. If you knew the truth of what was happening here in Nova Scotia, we had the most leverage because of the satanic kill on April 19th. Look up April 19th satanic ritual and you will see what I'm talking about. And that was to kick off the legalization of the satanic, satanic church and retaliation for Jeffrey Epstein because Gabriel Wartman was human trafficking kids and he had his own orgy island in Nova Scotia that many freaky, if you knew Nova Scotia you guys were just all cults, okay? One cult after another after another. And they predator on us, the vulnerable, okay? I'm your hero. He is riding off his veteran status. You show me one thing they've done, I'll take it back. Show me one thing that those two have accomplished and I will take this all back. But I have significant proof that they did awful things to people. People are afraid of them. They destroyed the freedom movement in the East Coast. They are agents. They are paid to throw people on the bus, which they do willingly. The Diagon group, that is not a fake fictional thing, you guys. And this whole court is just a decoy, and it's a way for them when they get out, they're gonna win a big lawsuit, but it's all been arranged. They're going to write books. They're going to show up as heroes. But I'm pretty persistent. No matter who tries to push me down. And you guys, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Because of stuff that Morgan May got to. Girlfriend of Jerry McKenzie. And their group. Their innocent fictional group things that they arranged to have happen to me. Now most of the videos of the violence and the beatings and the solitary confinement and you guys I got tons of fines from Ottawa my whole life I went from being a prosperous business owner a mother of a 16-year-old, beautiful, homeschooled girl. I live totally natural, like I grew my own food. I homeschooled. I helped everybody any way I could to find freedom. I fight for the rights of children. I was beaten brutally at that Ottawa. I was treated better than I'd ever been in my whole life. I, I came back to the East just to grab my stuff and get back 
there because a whole pile of people were helping me, like all kinds of truckers, you guys. My story was scrubbed clean. Morgan May Guptill and Jeremy McKenzie admitted, Morgan May Guptill admitted to me that she got police helping her, okay? Helping her hurt other people. She went online. You guys, I did a video about human trafficking in the Nova Scotia Police and the MS-13. And you guys, I'm part of the Jeffrey Epstein human trafficking, CPS human trafficking, and the list that connects you to Canada, which it's huge. Most people don't understand. The territory for J.E. was all French-speaking countries, okay? And he's only an hour away. His compound is only an hour from where I live, okay? The human trafficking is crazy. It increased by three times as much. There's a kid being stolen every day in Nova Scotia. Most of them you're never going to hear about. That's all for ritual and forbidden money. It's being done by RCMP, police, and Morgan McUpton and Jeremy McKenzie assisted with that. They took money. So my interview with Jordan Bonaparte disappear. He didn't even put it up. I found Morgan Make Up to with Jordan Bonaparte smearing my name and I copied it. But it's not the first time she smeared me, but most of the time she got away with it without me being able to copy it. But I got two very incriminating things to do with this group that everybody is claiming so innocent. Oh, Poor Jeremy, it's all fake, you guys. They are making massive money for that, and they will later make massive money for that. And if my whole life was destroyed, I now live outside, you guys, and I have severe neurological damage from you know what. And that's nothing for them to make fun of. They went online with a popular broadcaster and <laughs> made fun of me. My neurological, she's nuts. The lady is nuts. No, this lady is not nuts. And this lady is very tenacious. This lady is very strong. And Jeremy McKenzie, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. You're a little girl, gang stalker, and killer of children. You're a pussy hiding behind all your people. Hurting I'm 56 years old, pussy.